Firstly, uh, Ollie, transfers. Uh, is there anything that you can tell us? Obviously, Fernandez, uh, lots of links. I've got no transfer updates, so uh, that's uh, uh, no. Uh, if we get something that we can tell you about, we will, but I've got no news now. Just a word about, about your strikers. There's a lot of chat at the moment with Harry Kane being in, injured about Mason Greenwood. Obviously, he's emerged under yourself about potentially England and Euros. Do you take any notice of that or do you have to try and talk to young players like Mason when he'll be hearing things like that? And, and do you think there is potential in that kind of line? Well, I think Mason will have a top career and a long career. Uh, let the boy uh, settle in now first before we talk about uh, England and Euros because his focus has to just to be on playing more for us, improving. And uh, when he plays well for us, that'll that'll happen by itself. So, no, I don't think Mason will, will have noticed. His, he's just been picked for the under-21s now lately, so I think he's... Uh, just focusing on his football. But in terms of the strikers, I mean, he's, he's having a great season. Martial and Rashford having the best season scoring-wise that, that they've ever had. Uh, how much satisfaction are you getting from what they're doing, and are you getting enough credit for the fact that you're getting more out of them? Well, I, they, I'm not uh, want to get. Uh, I don't want credit for getting more out of them. They're working hard to improve their game. I think they've they've all done well. Of course, Mason's in his first season, so to have nine goals in. I don't think he's got 20 appearances yet, so that's fantastic. Marcus really growing, improving all the time, and Anthony, he's, he's missed about six to eight weeks. So I'm impressed by them. They were working well. We, we're working on the finishing patterns. We want the consistency, and I think we, uh, I think we'll see more and more of them because they're still very, very young. Injury-wise, does Eric Bailly come back into the reckoning, or is that too, too early for me? He's very close. Uh, he might be back for the weekend. Uh, he, we're, we've got a game arranged today with the reserves, so he'll play that one. Hopefully get 90 minutes, because um, he didn't feel any after-effects of, uh, of the game on Friday. So he might be ready for Liverpool. Uh, Ashley Young, does he suddenly come back into the reckoning too? He's not going to be involved, no. And, and, and Wolverhampton Wonders, how would you go about beating them? <laughs> We've uh, we played them so many times now, so of course we're gonna be um, uh, facing a team that know more or less everything about us, and we'll know more or less everything about them. We've got them in a couple of weeks again in the league, so uh, we're uh, we we know we we played a decent first half last week. Uh, was it last week? Last time we played them, second half was a bit disappointing. So, but at home we wanna. We want to make sure that we go through. I'm sure Nuno wants to go through as well because this tournament is one that we all dream about winning when we're young. Uh, I've loved my time uh, in, in the finals and lifting a trophy, so we want to go through. You said after that first game that your team was a little bit tired. You've played, this will be your third game in like a little more than a week since then. How, how do you re-energise your team? You know, results, they do give you energy. Uh, you know, for me, I, I'm fine. I only have to see you before the game and after the game. So I, I do six press conferences in the, every week when, I, when we got all these games. Just counting, we had, I think it's our 14th game in 45 days. We've still got five or six games before uh, the winter break. So it's relentless. It's 18 games in less than 60 days for the players, which is uh, physically demanding and uh, mentally demanding. So we've just got to have, make sure we energise them. One with results like Norwich and performance, I think they all felt good about that one. When you got some bad results, we need to mentally work with them uh, to use it to as a motivation, as in, OK, we're, we're not there yet, we need to keep working and improving. So. Uh, just keep the rhythm. I, I remember I didn't play all these games when, but when I was playing, I felt that us as a team we improved when we got the rhythm of match rest, match rest, match rest. Uh, I, the physical thing I never got because I never played. But there were players like Roy, Scholes, Gary, Giggsy. They played all of them, and, and they only seemed to improve. So that's what we've got to get to as well. Just in terms of 
Manchester United is a football club, the Deloitte report, people make a big thing of it, I don't know whether they do internally here, but it says in there that Manchester United is at risk of not being the richest English club, which has never happened before. Is that a symptom of poor on-pitch performances or, or is it a wider issue? Well, well, I think for me, the most important thing for me is that we, we get the results sorted, uh, that we get... Uh, the performances on the pitch that's my focus it's got to be my focus and uh, but i know that i've or we've got the resources we've got we've got the backing if we need to uh, go into the transfer market for example so uh, still we are still uh, up there aren't we <laughs> so we're still in a good place